All right, Dave, so you served in the military for 25 years for a decade. And since you've retired, you've really focused on medical access. Can you tell us quickly leading up to 420 a little bit about, you know, Texas veterans on the front line of access for medical marijuana? So uh, Operation Trapped is a Texas normal initiative to collect pill bottles from veterans all over the state of Texas. And each veteran puts into the pill bottle a message to Governor Abbott and our legislators about why we need a medical marijuana program in Texas. And the bottom line of these notes uh, is to tell Governor Abbott that Texas was founded by Texans who refused to obey unjust laws. And we veterans in Texas have given everything we have uh, to serve our country and to serve Texas. And we just ask for one thing, and that is a medical marijuana program in Texas uh, so that we can legally use cannabis uh, for PTSD, chronic pain, and other medical conditions uh, that are re a result of our military service. And we learned from St. Augustine, from Henry David Thoreau, from Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King, that a, an unjust law it is not a good law it, and we're not bound to obey unjust laws. Uh, we're veterans. Uh, we're, we should not be treated as criminals. Uh, we should not be treated as outlaws. And I wrote a letter to Governor Abbott uh, about my, um, I've, I've had cancer three times uh, in the last few years. And I wrote a letter to Governor Abbott uh, and I explained to Governor Abbott uh, how cannabis can help cancer patients. And he's heard from me previously how cannabis can help PTSD and chronic pain and other injuries that our veterans have. And Governor Abbott sent me back a letter and uh, his spokesperson um, thanked me for my service, uh, said they understand uh, that my concerns about cancer uh, and then um, they talked about uh, TCAP, uh, for which uh, the, the only way a cancer patient can enroll in TCAP is if you're a terminal cancer patient and you're literally dying, um, which is not compassionate. Uh, and the bottom line is, uh, this spokesperson uh, said, Governor Abbott remains convinced that Texas should not legalize marijuana either for recreational or medical use. But I want to tell Governor Abbott that we refuse to obey these unjust laws. Uh, we'll be back at the legislature in 2021 uh, talking about this healing plant because Governor Abbott or the government of Texas, uh, these unjust laws, that they're not more powerful than a seed. God gave us the seed uh, for this plant and God intends that this plant uh, will heal us. Uh, it's a healing plant, and no government uh, can, can fight against a seed. Uh, we see that all over the United States, all over the world. And so what I want to say on 420 is thank you to everyone for supporting Texas veterans, Texas patients, Texas caregivers. Uh, we will be back at the legislature in 2021 fighting for justice in Texas. We will never stop just like this seed will never stop growing. Thank you, Jax. Thank you, Dave. I think that is a super important message for us to be sharing in advance of um, 420. As you know, we have dedicated uh, 420 to um, a moment or a minute, excuse me, of silence for all of the victims of the drug war, people who have been arrested or passed away before they had access and I am wearing my veteran special edition shirt for this today at 420, the penultimate 420, as we said, um, because really it's, it's very important that we have robust conversations about medical cannabis. I mean, everything that we're talking about is extremely important, but really whenever patients don't have access and we're restricted on you know, how we can therapeutically use the medicine, it becomes a problem. And it becomes a problem for public health because you can't access the quality of cannabis 
you know, that you need as a veteran. And so that's something that we're going to have to work on. And through this upcoming session, you know, we were able to hear from Representative Moody earlier today that um, he is going to be definitely pushing for for making sure that we can have um, a retail market. And he said that, you know, of course, a medical market has to still be considered because as we know, we shouldn't be taxing medicine. It should be available for the patients. And during um, this COVID situation where people are sheltering in place, there are many people that um, use medical cannabis that could be benefited by being able to participate in the Texas Compassionate Use Program and make sure that they have quality medicine delivered to their door in, in a safe manner so that they don't have to worry about exposure. Because, you know, as you know, Dave, we have a um, strong high risk uh, patient population that we participate with. And um, I was wondering if you'd maybe just talk for a moment about um, just real quickly about next steps moving into the legislative session, you know, what are your goals? Just real quick. Well, a big thing is please go to, um, on Facebook, go to the site Operation Trapped, uh, the Hustle Hustle Collective. Uh, Tyler and our friend Bo are creating a film called Operation Trapped, uh, documenting our work in Texas. And we want uh, Governor Abbott to see this film. We want Lieutenant Governor Patrick to see this film. We want all of our legislators to see, see this film. And Tyler has just released the new, new trailer for the film. So please uh, go to Operation Trapped on Facebook, check out the new trailer for the film Operation Trapped. And uh, we, we, our, our focus will be to get this film uh, to every Texan so that every Texan can see it. 